Hey, happy Monday, everyone. This is Dave Hall. We created and promote cellar size, which we truly believe is the most effective, most efficient form of exercise yet devised by man. It's also been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. We have people of all ages that join us, doctors, health practitioners, uh, sports therapists, athletes, military, fire, police departments, uh, martial artists, yoga instructors, I, it's the whole gamut. People of all ages can sell their size. And we want to thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing the message with other people. And we hope and pray that you're having and enjoying a much better quality of life as you sell or size, and you should be. The movement up and down on a cellar sizer challenges equilibrium and balance, and we start to feel better and perform better like we did when we were younger because balance only has little or nothing to do with age to begin with. So if you have people that have balance issues, help them understand balance comes from challenging the balance mechanism. None of us are born with balance. But the movement up and down challenges our proprioceptors. As we do different movements, it challenges our vestibular balance. And as we feel more balanced, we perform better and we enjoy better quality of life. With cellar size, we go after to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees, around the hips, the back, the shoulders. And as we strengthen those supporting muscles and ligaments, very often the weaknesses or conditions just slowly fade away. So again, there's a lot we can do with cellar size. You've heard me talk about it. If you have any specific questions, please give us a call or write us, write to uh, Christine and to Brooklyn here um, online so that we can address your questions. If you have anything you would want to recommend, yeah, let us know. Now, if we can do something to improve your overall experience, we would love to do that. Our objective with this program is to help you enjoy and reach your greater health potential. We all have one. And many of you have heard me say before that in our culture today, it appears that we have come to accept the idea that health is simply an absence of illness. And as a result of that, if you were to draw a line down the middle of a page, and you have health on one side and you have illness on the other side, most people live on the line and they consider themselves healthy. If they get sick, they'll take a shot or pill or some kind of treatment until they get back to the line and they're okay. But we've got a greater health potential. We can enjoy more energy. We can perform better. We can sleep better. We can, we can just have a higher quality of life because we can move further to the right of that line and enjoy a better quality of health we have a greater health potential. Cellar size is an exercise that works at the cellular level where every single cell in your body is weightless, weight, weightless, weight. It helps them pump. It helps in the metabolic processes. It helps to detoxify. It helps increase oxygen and blood flow to the brain. It helps open up capillaries and circulation. Those are things that help us perform better and enjoy better quality of life. So let's read some customer reviews that we've had. Then we'll answer some questions. And when we're answering the questions, if you have um, some questions, please write them in. What we're going to do today is talk a little bit about the Mr. Rebounder app as well. So if those of you who have the Mr. Rebounder app, I'm going to show you some of the different movements that we are working on. We've had some glitches for a period of time as far as not in the graphic design work. The graphic design work is done and the movements are done, but when we're importing the movements into the actual app itself, we find that some of the movements have got some glitches and that's what we've been working on. So tomorrow morning in our board meeting, we're gonna have people from all over the world on a Zoom call, all the technicians, and some of these people are the very best. They work with some really big companies. Um, and, and I'm grateful, so grateful to have them working for us. They're working for us because they believe in me, they believe in the vision. They believe in you. And they're making a difference. We can't generally afford them. They are way up here. And we're not the big fish. But we've attracted their talent. And I'm grateful for it. And grateful that uh, 
that they've been working for us to help us develop this vision that we have of improving the quality of health for people of all ages all over the world. So Amy writes, for anyone on the fence, just do it. Long story, but I've had rebounders from the other guys and this is different. Not only that, in several experiences of my own and after referring others, I believe that Dave Hall's company truly is in it to help others. The customer service is astoundingly good. You will not regret this, Amy. Thank you, Amy. And Amy, if you're related to that um, hotel chain, let me know. I'd love to talk to them about getting a seller sizer at the front desk counter so that people can actually check out a seller sizer to their room, go on and use the app and have a, their own um, exercise program in the actual hotel room. And that's something we can talk about later, but uh, anyway. Sylvana writes, hello Dave, I just got off the phone with <laughs> Dr. Jerry. Jerry's not a doctor, but <laughs> he's my vice president. And he absolutely made my day. He was funny, personable, and so kind. I called someone in my hometown today to ask them if they were happy with their purchase. She said that she called five years ago and you answered the phone. She said you were committed to people getting a seller sizer and the customer service is something she didn't forget. I was not expecting that level of customer service, but Mr. Jerry answered the phone and he was wonderful. I am looking forward to getting my seller sizer and starting this journey with the twins at iJump instead. Thank you, Silvana. Thank you, Silvana, for sharing that. All right. This one's from Joe. Thanks for the info. I already own a bifold, best piece of equipment ever. Haven't missed a day of it in over a year since it arrived. Bouncing to music is the way to go. I'm almost 80. I'd swear this rebounder is keeping me alive and well. I'll be making another purchase soon as a gift for my friend. I can't thank you folks enough for the quality engineering, design, and construction of this seller sizer. Having blown through two cheaper models, I appreciate this one even more. Well, Joe, thank you. We appreciate you and those comments. And many of you know the difference in the seller sizer. All right. My experience with rebounding. This is from David. He says, during November 2020, I was trying to improve my physical condition and health. I had previously pulled my Ram 3500 truck truck and camper, which weighs in excess of 12,500 pounds. I was not having any success pulling my truck. For the next month, I did a lot of rebounding, focusing on rebounding on one leg at a time. My next attempt surprised me at how easy it was to make the pull. My age was 79 and body weight was about 165 pounds. During that year, I lost 36 pounds off the body fat and gained nine pounds of muscle. And David actually sent pictures of himself. He's now in his 80s and he's 80 plus And he says, he's, he's told me that he endorses the seller sizer and that he, he's an inspiration. He's an inspiration to a great many people um, for letting us know that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm only 65. I want to be 85 and being able to do the same things that I'm doing now. Well, he's an inspiration. He's been doing this for several years. And I know that uh, we all have a greater health potential. And if we're struggling to get to a certain level, give us a call. You know, there are many different approaches that we can take to solar size. Okay, oh, we read Joe already. All right, one more. This is from Judy. She says, I cannot thank you enough for teaching me through your DVDs about solar sizing. My husband very graciously agreed to buy one for me when he saw how enthusiastic I was about what I had learned on your DVDs. I have been very limited in the amount of exercise that I do on a daily basis due to an injury I sustained, that I sustained to my foot about 17 years ago. At that time, I trod on a very large rusty nail, and while the injury healed years later, 
that area of my foot became very sore, often swelled, and was so inflexible that I could not kneel with any comfort and bend it back. My worst difficulty was that any form of exercising involving my foot caused it to ache and often swell. Hence, I rarely exercised and, can, and was terribly unfit. I work in an office job full-time and have suffered terribly with back and shoulder problems. I continually go to a Bowen therapist, my, myopractor, to help keep my aching back in alignment. I knew my problem was weak muscles, but I did not know what to do about it. The idea that originally interested me in the cellar sizer was that I could exercise and not hurt my foot. It worked. I have had some pain in it, but it is improving at a rapid rate. So much so that it is ever so much more flexible than it was, and it does not hurt to use it on the cellar sizer at all. The thing that has completely blown me away, though, is that when I commenced, I asked my husband to take a couple of photos of me in, in my bathing suit so that I could see the improvement in my physical appearance. Then last night, approximately one month after commencing, I again asked him to take a photo and see if I could see any improvement. Imagine my amazement to discover that a profile in the first photo, I was standing leaning slightly forward. I had no idea I was doing it and that it was not normal until I compared it to the one taken last night and I am standing up straight. Then to my delight, I looked at my back in the mirror this morning and noticed that my spine had changed. When I was a teenager, I was diagnosed with kyphosis, curvature of the spine outward. This is similar to scoliosis, only the spine curves outward so that it was very visible through my skin in the small of my back. This morning, I discovered that it, was, it has unbelievably straightened, or at least it appeared like that to me. It does not appear to protrude at all, but while I can still feel that it is curved and not yet normal, the change is truly amazing. I thought cellar sizing would help with my fitness, muscle development, toning, and balance, but I had no idea that it helped to straighten my spine or cause me to stand up straighter. So thank you a thousand times. Kind regards, Judy. And thank you, Judy. And yes, it has been known to do that. In fact, in my own personal case, I'm three quarters of an inch taller than I've ever been in my entire adult life. We've had other people who had lost height and regained it. And they've written me, um, they believe, like I do, that the cellular sizing had a lot to do with that. We talk about the back, we talk about imbibing the discs and the vertebral joints through this movement up and down, which moves fluid through the body. And as you're moving fluid through the body, you can target certain areas of the body to increase flexibility and health in joint areas as well as in muscles and ligaments. All right, Dave, these are some questions now. Dave, been kicking it up a notch on cellar sizer and left groin is bad. Can you show something that would help? Sure. All right. Ligaments and tendons, they're, they take, you want to build up the strength of ligaments and tendons, and they take time. They take longer than muscles. So we have to give them that time. And we don't want to do any kick outs or things like that that's going to put a strain on it while, while it's healing. But simple movements up and down here, side to side, is, is a great technique. Gently twisting in the hip socket area. Right here, that's also a great technique. All of that is not putting a lot of stress on the groin, but is going to be focusing more on massaging that area, increasing flexibility, circulation, reducing inflammation, and promoting healing. And the rocking side to side can also be helpful. Um, and that's done on the solid side of the hip rock, we call it, or it's just kind of rock side to side. And I want you to listen to this because we still have people out there that are complaining about how squeaky the cellar sizer is. Guys, mine's built just like yours is. So again, if, if you see people doing it, thank you. I've, I've watched the competition disparage our unit for years. And I've had even customers say, so what if it's squeaky? It works. And, but it doesn't have to be. 
you put a couple drops of oil at both ends of each spring, and you can hear how quiet that is. And the neat thing about it is that as over time, as you continue to use it, that oil and that steel rubbing against steel polishes the steel and it can make it quieter and quieter. But initially, yeah, there's steel rubbing against steel and as it's polishing, it can be a little squeaky. You're breaking it in, that's no biggie. All right, I have a bit of congestion in my chest right now from what I am pretty sure is just an old fashioned cold. In doing the deep bounce, deep breath in, out routine this morning, I found myself wondering if I might be driving the congestion deeper instead of breaking it up. Any thoughts? Well, one of them, I've had the same thought and I've wondered the same thing. But what I have found out for me is you can do shallow breathing. You don't even have to breathe that deep as you're breaking up the mucus. And my son had a cold and he's sitting right here. I'm going to have him come up in a moment. You may remember him. He was on the subtle side. He's probably about that tall. That was about a year ago. He's not that tall anymore. Um, he's 13 years old. And he's a good-looking, kind, one of the neatest guys that I personally have ever known. And is, is my son. And I can say that with sincerity. He's just super kind and super thoughtful. So many people. But, but I want to... Uh, um, oh, I got sidetracked. I was going to say something about that. The, um, anyway, oh, he had a cold and I got the cold. So last week I actually had, had a cold that was in my chest as well. So one of the things that I've been doing to break up the mucus, and it does because it gets in the bronchial tubes and lungs and it doesn't feel good, is it's, you can, I do the deep breathing but you can do the shallow breathing. But when you when I do the breathing, within just a few minutes, I'm getting rid of the mucus. I can feel it coming out of the chest. So I do it a lot, and I'm gonna to continue to do it until I have my bronchial tubes open and strong. One of the things I wanna do is build up and strengthen my lungs. So I exercise them, and the Cellarcizer exercises our lungs, and it opens up bronchial tubes. And I want those lungs to be stronger, you know, the immune system has memory, and so I want all parts of my lung to be strong and healthy. But um, you can start off just <coughs> <coughs> that shallow breathing, or you can go deeper. I, I, I generally go deeper, but and I'll do it to the count probably 10 or 15 times while I'm getting my lungs stronger again. When I did this a couple weeks ago, my lungs were very open, very strong, and I, I got the cold, and it, it put him down for quite a while, too, so, but, but again, the breathing is like this, and it's sounding much better already, but, um, but that does, it just, I believe that it helps break up that mucus and increase oxygen, and as we increase oxygen, that's a healthy thing. For the lungs and in the fight against viruses and, and bacteria as well. So, hi Dave, is there anything that can be done for the sound of locusts afar off in each ear? This only started about a month ago, just like all of a sudden. Thank, thank you for all you teach us. I very much enjoy your time in life program. Thank you. And thank you for those comments. The ear, um, it has circulation too. It builds up wax. It's got, um, you know, a little bone in there. We've got a lot of vestibular balance and fluid moving up and down. And, and we often take it for granted. It is my belief, and again, I'm not giving this out as medical advice. You can check with the doctor. But if you start off, I start off just gently massaging the ear and around the ear. I'm moving fluid up and down. If I'm losing circulation, and I think that is key to so many issues that we have today is poor circulation. As I increase it, the movement up and down, I was moving fluid. And as I massage those areas, just grab the ear in little circles, gently to begin with, okay? Gently, because it can be like cleaning up a bedroom. You might make it worse before you make it better. But 
um, if there's wax and things out there, it's, it's gonna it's gonna help break that down um, some, and should help us to expel it. So that's just that's my opinion. That's my opinion. All right. Hi Dave, I've been on my cellar sizer since October. I still cannot do the whippy ski patrol. My ankles and knees are not yet there. Any recommendations? I do the jamba run, twist, bounce, sit, bounce, stomach standing, hip rock, and fun. Thanks for making such a great product. Okay, so ankles and knees. Yes, and those, you know, again, especially if we haven't been real active, and then all of a sudden we start to be active and, and then we notice these weaknesses that we didn't know that were there because we hadn't been challenging the, the body like that yet. If we want to challenge the body more, we want to start to strengthen our body to be able to challenge it and enjoy various activities. So standing on the cellar sizer, the number one technique, lifting the heels up and down. When you're lifting the heels up and down, you're working under the arch of the foot, you're working the ankles of the foot, you're working the calf muscles. And that's, that's helping to pump circulation and create more strength. Um, standing on the solar sizer and simply rocking side to side. It's going to work the hips as well as the knees. So you're working hips, thighs, and, and the knees. If you're doing, um, the, well, okay, so the hip rock is really good. Um, if you can't jump side to side, that's all right, but you're getting a lot of that same movement right here. And then um, walking in place on this hollow sizer, you're just pushing down into the mat. That's all going to be done with the thighs and the knees. Simple techniques, but very effective. Until we can do the jumping side to side, but again, the precursor, just hip rock, side to side. And when I started solo sizing, my toes feel like numb. Is it normal? Saddle size is very good at helping to expose weaknesses. If you start to challenge an area of the body that is weak, the solar size is not going to cause the weakness, but it's going to help expose that weakness that was probably already there. You just didn't know it. So on the solar size, if you're If, as you're moving up and down, lifting the heels up and down, you're working the toes. As you're doing the twists, you're working the toes. If you want a little additional support, then you can get a soft-soled slipper. There's just a soft-soled slipper. Put that on your foot so your foot still has plenty of flexibility. And that can offer a little additional support while you're building up that circulation and the strength and the fascia within the foot itself. Brooklyn, any questions? Yeah. Okay. Um, I recently lost 30 pounds in about eight weeks by changing my diet and using the solar sizer. I now have some areas of extra skin. Are there any ways to get those areas toned back up? Okay, so she's lost about 30 pounds. She's in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, that's rivaling some people we know, Brooklyn. That's pretty good. As they're losing weight, um, when you're cellar sizing, as you're losing the weight, it helps to firm the, the skin, the collagen, and the fascia, the, um, because you're putting weight on the skin cells at the same time you're losing the weight. If all you're doing is losing weight, but you're not exercising the skin, then often the skin becomes looser. That's one of the advantages of cellar sizing. <coughs> Beyond that, um, it's just a movement up and down. Movement up and down helps to firm, strengthen, increase that circulation. It can vary as to the degree of improvement, but we've heard stories that across the gamut. So it um, sounds like you're doing fine if you're continuing to lose the weight and you're cellar sizing. I believe you're doing the very best option available for naturally helping increase the flexibility of the skin the strength of the skin, and the circulation to, to the skin at the same time. So, good job. Anything else, Brooklyn? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, is there someone I could talk to about the possibility of suicide help with my granddaughter who has fried leeches ataxia? So it's degeneration, degeneration of the spinal cord, peripheral nerves, and the cerebellum portion of the brain. Yeah, okay. So we're talking about a cerebral spinal fluid um, increasing circulation, helping to reduce degeneration. Um, there are a couple of things that come to mind. And to, again, share this with your doctor. And I teach doctors these same movements. So one of them, and you've seen me do it, um, Justice, come on over here. Let's have you. All right, we're going to have, we're going to sit down right here on the cellar side here. Put your feet up here. And for lack of a better pillow, just go ahead and lie down like that. Yeah. All right. So, my little 13-year-old son was almost as tall as I am. Okay, move your hands out to the side. All right. This, I can't tell you how incredible this movement is. And you need everybody, I, I hope everybody has a chance to experience this. Because we're taking the vertical pressure off of the back by laying down horizontally. The nerves, the muscles, everything can relax. Then we're gonna massage, but not a, a surface massage. This is a deep massage. It's working through the whole back. So as I'm gently pushing down into the mat, Justice is gently moving up and down. And it's extremely relaxing, but as we are massaging, as the body can relax, we can open up the vertebral joints, increase more circulation to the disc, take pressure off of the nerves. And we do this for several minutes, and then, I rock side to side, and as I rock side to side, his hips gently roll. That further loosens up the muscles along the vertebral joints to the disc, but it's also helping to move circulation to the spinal cord as well. So that gentle side to side motion helps to uh, massage all the internal organs at the same time. And then back and forth. Just like that, that's one. One of the, especially if, if you have a subluxation or a pinched nerve or, or a disc issue, this is offered wonderful. I mean, it's just incredible support for people. Okay, pull your knees toward you and roll to the side normally, but come on. All right, buddy. I'll have him back in a minute. Go ahead. Um, that's one. Another technique is this pumping movement. It's done by rocking side to side and lifting the shoulders up and down. It creates a pumping action, and that pumping action is often felt right along the back in the, the spinal column. But it, it's gentle. I mean, you can start off real gentle. And then as you get a little more flexible, you can put a little bit more effort into it. There's techniques involved in that, such as when I rock, I take this leg and hip, and I kind of pull it this direction, so it's like that. And as I'm pulling it, I'm getting more stretch in the different areas of, of the back. So that's another one that creates a pumping action. You're moving up and down, which is moving fluid up and down. The muscles can help move that fluid back between the vertebral joints, through the spinal column, up to the brain stem. As I take my fingers, and we've actually got some of these movements on the new app, well, they will be. Um, you can do these little circular motions to help increase the circulation around the brain stem there and the atlas and helping to get rid of the stress and tension, increase circulation. Obviously, this is the second most important activity I teach people that we can do on the solar side right? because as I'm gently twisting side to side, I'm loosening up the back, the vertebral joints, along the disc, um, putting the colon in the intestines through a little washing machine effect every day, loosening up the hip area because I can actually not just twist at the waist. I mean, twisting the waist is okay, but what I do is I actually take my heel and I twist and move. I work in the hip socket area at the same time. So that helps to improve the dynamic of what that technique can do to help. I hope that's helpful. Brooklyn, any, any other? 
Um, can seller size strengthen the feet so we don't need arch support? Oh yeah. Can seller size strengthen the feet so we don't need arch support? I've seen that happen a lot. Um, in fact, we have people that were flat footed and they started seller sizing and for the first time in years while they were on the kitchen floor, they said they noticed that they were building up arches underneath their feet. Muscles, bones, and ligaments in the feet want to be flexible enough to move to support our natural alignment. When we wear shoes, they're more restrictive. Then we go out and we do something more, ex we put more exertion on the body and the body doesn't have that flexibility, then we can end up tearing the fascia and creating other foot problems. When we're on the cellar sizer and we start to move up and down, the foot starts to move and the bones and muscles and ligaments start to move and become more flexible to support your natural alignment. As we're lifting the heels up and down, we're working the muscles underneath the foot as well. And there's other things we can do too, but the cellar sizer is working on the feet the whole time that you're on it. As you're doing different movements, muscles and ligaments are all moving again to support your natural alignment. One of the reasons I say barefoot, socks, or soft-soled slippers are best is because shoes can be restrictive. And when you're on a cellar sizer and your feet are moving to support your natural alignment, the shoe can actually get in the way and it can cause the foot um, discomfiture from that. So it can be a, a, a process. It takes time. You may not notice little kinks that come and go over time. That's not unusual. And if it becomes serious or a condition or an issue, then of course consult with your doctor. Any other questions? For someone that has migraine headaches, would you recommend cellar size? Oh, have you been to our website? For You should read some of the customer reviews of people that have migraine headaches and what, the cellar, what their experience with the cellar sizer has been. We know that movement up and down breaks up blockages, opens up and increases circulation. As we break up blockages and we increase circulation, very often the symptoms, conditions, issues, or discomfiture that we have in all areas of the body can slowly fade away. So cellar size has been known to be extremely helpful with those issues. Again, I can't prescribe to you, so I'm hesitant to say what you can and can't do. What I can say is a story we had a lady who, um, and many of you have heard me tell this story, this is just one, but she heard me on the radio and she decides to get a cellar sizer. Um, she actually, she called me up first. She said, can I, she, can I cellar size? And I said, can you walk? And she said, no, not really. I'm bedridden. I'm on, uh, I think we just talked about this. Uh, Laura said lidocaine, vitocaine, morphine. She had a tremor disease. She couldn't hold a glass of water straight, steady. I said, well, you're going to need some help getting on and off of it. And, um, but, you know, you're welcome to try it for 30 days and tell me what you think. Well, 30 days go by, 60, 90, two and a half months later, I get a two-page handwritten letter. It's in our, miss, our, on, in our uh, website, sellersize.com forward slash customer review or forward slash reviews. It'll take you right there. But you can go to our website and find it too. And if you look up headaches or migraines, um, you'll see her story and you'll see her handwritten letter. Three and a half months later, I received a handwritten letter from her. Her handwriting is better than mine. I can actually read it. And in that, she tells her story. She'd had 46 days straight of migraines and another 64 days straight of migraines. And then um, she says in the letter that for the first time since 1958, she says, I'm totally migraine free. I'm off all pain medications. The tremor disease that she had was gone. And for the first time in four years, she's able to paint again. I love the last paragraph because she just praises the Lord over and over and then thanks him for us and, and for her new lease on life. Her name is Glenda. So um, yeah, feel free to read those. And again, cellar size opens up circulation. We don't always know what's causing migraines. So again, if you have a medical condition of any sort, check with your doctor, health practitioner first, and let them know about the cellar sizer and see what they have to advise you. Go ahead, Ricky. Any others? Well, what 
With the Skechers brand soft sole sneaker, we have paid to use recently broke a couple of toes and feel better with some support. I don't, I'm not familiar with it, but if you think it was flexible, similar to that slipper, and it's not going to restrict your foot movement, then sure. Yeah, if, it, if it's more of a heavier shoe that was more restrictive, you may end up with other foot issues. So I, I just caution you on that. Because the foot wants to move on a cellar size with that type of mat material, that's a unique mat material. It doesn't resist any pronation, but if you move, the springs in that mat, which you cannot stretch out, that will move to support you. And again, for those who don't know, that mat material is a space age material made here in the United States. It's a polypropylene where every fiber is put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. It's so incredibly dense that it resists the pronation of your feet, which is very important when you're doing different movements. It's also weather resistant, so it makes swimming pool covers out of it now because it's UV resistant. I use it because I wanna make sure your feet are gonna be well supported in the different movements when you alter the angle of your body in different positions so that it's, it's very well supported. Anything else, Brookie? All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through our, this Rebounder app. We have an achievement page and many of you, well, for those of you who have this Rebounder app, you have that too. We're gonna to reset these with the reset button so that we'll start over and we're going to have it so that on, on these movements, you'll be able to finish a row and then add a new movement at no cost to you. Or you can purchase the different movements at a very nominal charge, um, or you can purchase them all as a package. But we want to really encourage you to do this so that you get a reward. And that reward, by the time you've got all of them, you're gonna be looking at yourself, feeling how, how much better you feel in that whole process. So it's just, what can we do to motivate you? That's just another way. So, um, go back to home. When we go to the create workout areas, because you, you know we've got beginning, intermediate, advanced, senior, for all age groups, conditions, and you have all kinds of different approaches on it. But if you want to create your own, we also have a library of movements. And in that library of movements, we're going to be adding another 40 additional movements. I'm going to stand over here. Justice, um, let's go ahead and have you come up on the cell size. And I'm going to, now he hasn't seen these. So I'm working with Justice, and he's, he's been on the cell size for um, quite a bit. That's all right. That's all right. Um, so, you're all familiar with, can they see this all right, Pookie? Mind the way? They can see. Okay, good. So we're all familiar with the health apps. When we go to the app, we're gonna have um, the back shoulder movement, which you can see, it looks kind of weird, but it's really, she's leaning a little bit. Go ahead and grab the, the, the frame, and you're gonna kind of Stand up and lean a little bit to one direction and then pull that foot up. There, feel the stretch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's what we want. And then you're going to hold that position and you're just going to gently bounce. So it just very gently starts to get rid of that stress and tension, increase that flexibility and that circulation. And so we have that with uh, going both directions and we'll be adding that into our routine. Um, we've got... Here's another one where you put your arm up, up like that, and then you just kind of bounce and cross one front in front of the other. Feel that in the back? It's in the back. You're probably so flexible you don't notice it, right? But uh, that helps to loosen up the lower back as we're doing that gentle movement up and down. You've, many of you have seen me do that. We've got um, over 40, 40 different movements, guys. And there's, there you go for the arms. We got the arm movement up and down. So I can we do that to I generally count of four. So we, we'll work with that a little bit. Um, and then um, we've got the cranial massage, which is on the back. So you, yep, you put your fingers right back there and you do this little circular motions in the back to help as we move fluid up and down. 
we're able to push that fluid between the vertebral joints to the neck. We don't want to have neck problems. We don't ever want to have neck problems, but if we have neck problems, then we need to address that. And this can help increase that flexibility and circulation in the neck again. Um, chest and shoulders. So you've got this movement here where you're bouncing up and down. And again, we can put the amount of time that we actually do that movement within any one of the routines. And I wanted, wanted to ask if, if Dr. You know, if Lene, Dr. Lene has any um, movements or Stephanie and Sally have any movements or any of you have any movements that you would like us to consider adopting for the cell and size program that you really like, by all means, um, let us know. The, uh, the modified jumping jack, that's one that I do. So it keeps, yeah, there you go, there you go. So it keeps your, your feet toward the center of the mat. You're not going out and landing on the springs. Landing on top of the spring over and over can actually fracture a spring. We've, I've never broken a spring in over 30 years, and I sell what size all the time. So that's just the way that I stay more centered, so it's a little easier on the, the springs. There's a, a neck massage, and then we're going to do the neck rolls. So we've got neck rolls that you can actually be doing. So again, you're moving circulation. The tissue is being massaged. You can't get that just doing that. It's that movement up and down. You're weightless over and over. <laughs> yeah, hold on to the bar. That one can make you dizzy. And, and you're loosening up, and then it goes one direction, and then it goes another direction. So that um, we're working on. The neck, uh, neck turned down while we're moving up and down. We'll do that. Um, again, it's all designed to help us improve flexibility of the neck. And so we do the, all these various different movements. We'll be putting together in routines that you can follow along, but you also have the ability to take any routine you may personally like already and cloning it or adding any one of these movements to it. Um, yeah, it's just... Then we've got the shoulder crunch to the back, which is when you're working on your posture, you're opening up the rib cage, you're opening up and moving up and down, that'll be in there. Um, and then again, to the forward, so we can open up the scapula and, and the, the muscles and the shoulder blades in the back are gonna be in there. And guys, it just it just goes on and on and on. So again, I hope you can able to see that. Any other questions, Brick here? And then the shoulder on. Yeah, it's um, when the spring fractures, does it actually break? Yeah, um, not necessarily. Uh, when a spring fractures, it may break later, and you, you just don't know. Um, but it doesn't necessarily fracture at that moment. There are people that have done jumping jacks over the years that um, their springs hadn't broken, and then all of a sudden a spring breaks, and they weren't doing anything to land on the spring. And I just let them know that chances are, almost certain, is that somebody did land on that spring and fracture. Rarely do our springs break. And like I said, I've never broken one, and I'm using it all the time. Um, knock on wood. But the steel in our spring is very, very, very strong. But it doesn't mean that if you don't land on it, you can compromise it. So we just don't do that. Um, oh, yeah, this will be another one that I'll be introducing. It's uh, for, for shoulder issues. People that have shoulder issues, you actually use a shoulder strap. We'll have that available in our store, too, if you don't have one. But you can just take a belt. You can take a, a robe tie or something, and you can do a lot of the same thing. But it's, it's designed to help increase flexibility in the, in the back and the shoulders again. So those are, you know, that's just some of the things that we're, we're going to be having that's available for, yeah, that, that are on the seller side. So, any other questions, Ricky? All right, I want to thank you all for uh, being part of the seller side family, for your patience. Like I said, I'm going to be meeting with our technicians tomorrow morning at nine o'clock to, um, and we've got experts from all over the world that are going to be 
working with us to figure out where it is within the programming that we have that glitch. And so the next time I report, hopefully we're going to have this all available for you so that you can put it within the app. The, the only issue, we've, we've got a, most of it working. There's just a, there's some of it where the arms or running in place, it does weird things. And it just... It's just a glitch. And so they'll be trying to figure out what that glitch is. But thank you, buddy, for being a part of it. You step down here, you're intimidating me. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I can't believe it. But anyway, guys, thank you. And he's solar size. He's solar size all his life. And he's going to be a helping him take over for this sometime. But thank you again. If you have any questions, give me a call. If you know anybody that has issues and you want to improve the quality of health through fitness programs, please share. Please share our message. It is making a difference. You are making the difference. And I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks and maybe we'll do a program together. Thank you very much. Thank you.